What's happening today? What's happening? Today uh, we're having a table read with uh, a large part of the cast, producers, and we're gonna hear uh, about Bad Boys 4, Bad Boys Ride or Die. We're very excited to be here. I guess most of us know each other. Yeah. We called it Bad Boys for Life last time, and, and we shouldn't have. Because <laughs> this would have been perfect. Bad Boys for Life. We got a worldwide hit here on the last one, and it was well-reviewed, which is unusual for me. Yeah. <laughs> you ready? Yep. All right. Miami night. We fly toward a penthouse on South Beach. Exterior, hotel, penthouse, night. More action here as the chopper starts to spin wildly. The centrifugal force pushing Mike Marcus against the walls. The chopper spins on its way down. Grace! The chopper smashes into the water. The helicopter scene, that's just crazy. That's like the yeah. signature scene of the movie. You need to get a job. I'm a U.S. Marine, sir. Well, then you need to deploy. Then you need to deploy. <laughs> Tell us about the new directors of the franchise carrying on the torch from Michael Bay. It's just Balal and Adele taking it to, to another level. They, they always say they're going to take bad boys to another to level. another level. And they do just that. Yo, 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 what's up? I'm Adele. And I'm Bilal. So we're the directors of Bad Boys for Bilal. Life. Adele and Bilal. They come with a lot of love every day. Yes. They, they hug everybody. Yeah. While we were making Bad Boys 3, you know, we were just fantasizing, like, what would it be if we could be coming back for a fourth one? See, Bad Boys! Yeah! When the movie turned out to be a success, God willing, Jerry right away said to us, OK, let's make a fourth one, boys. Got it! Got it. Got it. How did it feel stepping back into the roles of Mike and Marcus? Oh, I love it. Yeah. Anytime I get a chance to work with Will, yeah, man. you know, it's just a blessing. All I ever wanted to be was a cop. I'm Mike Lowry, and Mike Lowry is kind of the smooth playboy. So what you wearing? Man, give me the phone! Give me the phone! Mike Lowry is the wild party animal. Uncle Mike, did you have a date last night? Did I? Hey, hold up, hold up, hold up. Uh, you, oh, look at you. Look at oh. you. Yeah, that's good. Keep going. No, we're good. Keep going. No, do it again. No, we're good. No, no, no. Just keep doing it. <laughs> I think we got it. Oh, shit. Mike Larry. This guy is slick. Everybody wants to be like Mike. Fuck anybody who got a problem with Mike Lowry. I remember Will Smith is jumping up over a car, the shirt open and a gun, and I said, wow, he looks like a movie star. <laughs> It was the first time that I ever heard a woman react to me. I was sitting in the back of a theater and I heard a girl say, mm, go ahead, run, Will. Mike. What are you, a cop or a model? What you talking about, man? Do something on, I like looking good, what? For who? Hey, don't hate the player, hate the game. Hate the teller. The character in the movie is Burnett, you know, the family man. You gonna leave me here like a humping dog. Hi, baby boy. Oh, hi. Motherfucker. Sorry about that little market. Papa shouldn't be swearing like that. The tone has that drama, action, comedy. <laughs> If anybody ever said that making an action film is easy, is not. This is what you want. Got me climbing like a fucking chip. It's a lot, it's a lot of work. <laughs> Michael said, we're gonna make you a badass on screen. <laughs> I'm like looking at Mike like he's crazy, but uh, he knew what he was talking about. This $300,000 Ferrari was fine through the entire chase. And then Martin is sitting in the car. He opens a door. Bam! What the fuck is going on? You just get in the fucking car. Shit. Huh? All right. Hey, man. Oh, shit. I'm like, Martin, we've just gone through a 90 mile an hour car chase for a month. 
and you're the first person to damage the car. <laughs> you can get that buffed out. No, you can get that buffed out.